Hi everyone, it's Yelena. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're making by far my most favorite dessert of all times. You guessed it by the title, it's chocolate chip cookies. I know it's not the fanciest dessert out there, but in my opinion, there's nothing better than a bite of a warm, perfect chocolate chip cookie. Over the years, I have tested and tried many recipes just to make sure that they're perfect. And I have to say, this is it. This is my favorite chocolate chip cookie recipe. So let's try it together and see what we think. Prepare all of your ingredients and make sure to bring the butter and egg to a room temperature. For one batch of these cookies, you will need 8 tablespoons of salted butter, half a cup of white sugar, quarter cup of brown sugar, one teaspoon vanilla, one egg, one and a half a cup of purpose flour, half a teaspoon baking soda, quarter teaspoon salt, and three quarter cups of chocolate chips. I here have a mixture of milk and semi-sweet chocolate chips, but you can use whatever you prefer or have on hand. Before we start mixing the ingredients, I wanted to quickly show you what I do each time a recipe calls for brown sugar. I never buy brown sugar because it honestly dries out on me before I get to use it up, and since refined brown sugar is simply white sugar with molasses mixed back in, I just always keep a container of fancy molasses in my pantry and add one tablespoon to one cup of white sugar, and I just mix it through with a spoon. In this case, I'm only adding half a teaspoon of molasses to a quarter cup of white sugar since I'm making light brown sugar. If your recipe calls for dark brown sugar, just add a bit more molasses and you'll have the perfect amount of brown sugar each time you need some. To your mixing bowl, add a softened salted butter, followed by both white and then brown sugar. You can definitely use a wooden spoon or even spatula for this, you don't have to use a mixer, but it just makes everything easier. Now let this mix for a minute or two, and then occasionally you can stop the mixer so that you can scrape the bowl and make sure everything is properly incorporated. And then you mix it some more until it becomes fluffier and paler in color, about five minutes or so. Now add the egg, followed by the vanilla extract, and then mix it just until you break up the egg. You really don't need to mix this for too long. About 20 or so seconds will be enough. But while this is mixing, you can also prepare your uh, dry ingredients by whisking the baking soda and salt into the flour, and then you will be adding those in last. Add all of the dry ingredients at once and then mix this only until the flour is incorporated and the dough pulls away from the sides of the bowl. Now you can add your chocolate chips last. I'm here using three quarter cups, but you can definitely use more if you'd like. And again, you can also just mix those in with a spoon or a spatula. Now that you have your cookie dough ready, it's time to shape your cookies and place them on a lined baking tray. You will be using two baking trays for this recipe, and here I have a baking tray lined with um, silk pad, but you can definitely use parchment paper or Teflon mat. I'm using a small cookie scoop to scoop and portion my dough, and this scoop makes cookies about the size of a golf ball, and I usually get 20 to 23 cookies, but you can definitely make them larger. And if you do this, the recipe will make about 12 large cookies. Just make sure that you spread them out evenly enough so that when they bake and spread, they don't touch. Now bake them in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 177 degrees Celsius for 10 to 11 minutes. After 10 or so minutes, let the cookies rest on the baking sheet without moving them for the another 10 minutes. After 10 minutes on the cookie sheet, take them out on the cooling rack to completely cool and then you can store them in an airtight container at room temperature for 3 to 5 days. And here we go, we're all done. Do you think we have enough chocolate chip cookies? This is because I made a triple batch, because I freeze these and they stay in the freezer for up to three months and anybody can just enjoy a cookie whenever they feel like. If you do try these, please let me know in the comments. And if you would like to see more videos from me, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.